Hello everyone, my name is Neil Mystic and welcome to the next video on cartoon stuff. In this video, like I promised yesterday, I am going to make sure that you can see your... that you can bake textures onto your object. As you can see, there's no textures here, but uh, they will be in a second. So first thing that you guys need to do is go to this tab, the, the triangle thingy, I have no idea what it's, it's it's the object data or something. And under UV map, make sure that you get one UV map. Then go to your materials and like you would just uh, texture your, your model, just add in all the UV, the, the things you need. For example, this one will be wood. Since I made three textures, I am going to use them. This one is going to be stone, and the third one will be brick, not brick, brick. So all the way up, all the way down. <coughs> then it's important, well, you know how to do this, but I am just showing you. In my wood thing, I go to my mapping tool, no, wait, I'll first select my, my object and I'm going to select two faces. You can, you basically just use the faces that you would like to use and I'm going to assign that to wood. Then I'm going to select two other faces, select stone and assign to stone. And the last two faces I am going to assign to bricks. So on my wood, I go to this tab and it says stones but that's wrong. So I'm going to open, I'm going to go to my desktop, the map where I place the textures and it's called texture paint. This way I can, if I select these four squares, I can see which textures, textures it are. And now I'm thinking which one I made with you guys. Oh, I deleted that one, so I'll be using this one. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad. And it looks cartoonish, I think. But yeah, so I use this texture. Then I'm going to go back to the stone thing and I'm going to give it the texture that's stone. So open, uh, come on, desktop. Did I make stone? Yeah, I relocated it, that's true. So again, I went to see which texture it is and I made this stone. And as you can see, it doesn't fit too well. That's because I didn't change the set. No, not 50. F 5 is good enough. Okay, so I've got my textures in here. I can also do an offset if I want, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I can do that in every direction, but uh, I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. <coughs> also, I think I can do the same with what I did uh, two days ago with my stone. I think I can do the same to my wood. I actually just did the same to my wood. That's why it looks so nice because it has <laughs> it has deep cuts in it. So let me turn that off. So this is the normal wood. This is the special wood. Normal, special, normal, special. Nothing special about it. Okay. And on the last one, I'm going to do the texture that we did yesterday, and that's going to be the bricks. I'm actually quite interested in what it will look like. Brick. There we go. And I am going to put this at 10. 10. I just don't like the UV wrapping. It's... Uh, how can I say this? And I'm going to add two more lights. Shift D, RZ, 90, there. Shift D, RZ, 180, no. That was stupid. I need to select all of them. RZ, 180. Okay, so now I can see all my textures 
clearly. But I don't like that my brick texture is going up down. So I'm going to go to my UV unwrapping, select the object, select these two faces, and I'm going to do R whoops R90. So now they do look nice and I will load this I might as well just open my Unity as well because I'll I'll be showing you in Unity how it works. Okay. So Unity is opening. I will leave this open. But uh, as you can see, we applied our textures to all the objects. As you can see, it has everything on it. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the triangle tab, the object data, and we're going to add a UV map. I like to call this baked UVs. You don't have to do that and make sure it's selected. Now on your object, select all the faces, unwrap, and everything should still be the same. <laughs> Nothing special about that. Now we're going to press new and uh, for this it isn't important to do this here but if you're if you get big buildings or something that you want to make one UV of then you best put this at 4069 469 uh, 496 I'm sorry but for this one it isn't necessary so I'm just going to keep uh, 2028 and as you can see 2028 where the hell are you here okay so as you can see I unwrapped it again on this uh, on this model and as you can see the the tiles they do move everything still moves I'm going to put it in the center I'm going to go to my camera all the way down where it says bake instead of the full render because the full render that takes uh, light and stuff if you make a static game that doesn't matter but for me for this it does matter because I'm using uh, a light engine unity has this his special light and shadow stuff so we don't need to bake the shadows so instead of full render I'm going to texture bake I'm not going to touch the, the other stuff and I'm going to press bake and as you can see it just baked my textures on top of the model. Now I don't need this anymore. I do need my object so export file export I'm going to use obj file on my desktop and I'm going to call this tutorial cartoon export.obj and in here as you can see I got some examples like this entire building is uh, one UV unwrapping and I can show you guys because it is not right here here this is the small house the UV unwrapping of the small house the big house I have no idea where I what I did with that so let's just uh, go into textures and here you have it the entire unwrapping of my big house and it's nice and clean I did do this in 4096 instead of 124 but yeah it still looks pretty nice I do love my uh, roof it's a lot better than this one I think I'm going to redo it but yeah so we're going to take, oh fuck I did something wrong, so export obj selection only or it will do everything and don't write the materials, export and where it says the materials, I need to take that away and I'm going to, I didn't save the unwrapping, the uv unwrapping okay so image save image as and I'm going to save that as a tutorial 
dot png save now we don't need it anymore don't forget to do that I'm going to take these two the cartoon and uh, the PNG file I don't want to put it in here I want to put it uh, in models just in models also these are my models they don't look like much but uh, if I press play this is the size they have so they look realistic enough and cartoonish enough okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cube in my scene I'm going to make a material create material and this is tutorial and I'm going to apply the material to the object now this I'm going to put in albeso or uh, albedo and I'm going to take the standard specular I'm going to turn off the smoothness and as you can see if I rotate this object it's completely the way we wanted it to be so yeah <laughs> I know it was probably a short tutorial 11 minutes yeah this was a short tutorial but uh, trust me it took me a long time to find out how this works and it's actually pretty easy but yeah this is what I said that it's actually really easy to uh, <coughs> to get this working I could also and this since I still have time I am going to do I am going to select this object and I am going to bake the normals bake and it has no normals so that means I need to go here did it give you normals? no it didn't do anything yeah it did a little bit not too much but a little bit okay so one and I'm going to do that for all of them I hope this works because this is actually the first time that I try this one so now I have uh, normals on all my objects and they look pretty nice so if I do the baking now probably will oh now it does it okay so yeah these are my normals and uh, save as image tutorial normal um, can I do the light map the ambient occlusion and that does nothing that's because I didn't put some intensity on here okay and on the bricks I do want to see what I'm doing cursor to center and on my bricks some intensity as well like this okay so now basically I should be able to bake an ambient occlusion map which it still doesn't so which one is it not shadows not textures not displacement not emission this one okay so I have no idea where that thing is it's not the emission that I'm sure of uh, not the displacement it should be ambient occlusion so if I bake the shadows I get this okay save as image I'll just call the shadows and I can use this as my uh, occlusion map okay so we've got our rock now let's see if this works okay 
So the normal is going in there. Well, it doesn't look too nice. But we can mess around with that. Um, 0.5. That's a little bit better. And the occlusion map, I'm going to put this in here. So as you can see, this is uh, what we made. If I rotate this now, you can see it changed a little bit, but not too much. But that's no problem. So yeah, this is uh, the tutorial on how to make, how to get textures on big objects. I don't know how I'm going to call this, but uh, that's basically what this is. I hope you guys learned something useful today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.